crazy summer and I'm a little bit in need of a break. So for the next few weeks, I'm trying to get a little bit farther from work and a little bit closer to God. Our sabbatical activity was an afternoon bouldering with my strange brother and then it was time to turn off color on my phone. That evening, I had a cozy evening. I journaled, which is one of my goals for this three-week period, and read a little bit of a book, and then was off to bed. Good morning. I woke up today at 6.33 without an alarm clock on, and it's my first full day of sabbatical. I woke up feeling pretty content. I'm happy that I'm on a break. I'm wearing jean shorts and a shirt and it's not dance teacher wear which makes me feel very like i am on a break saturday was a catch-up day at home i did a lot of things like laundry and cooking i filmed a video with jasmine and then we went out to dinner got some pizza it was really nice walked around campus a little bit and then i headed home to start packing for tennessee to the nature preserve. Did you see a picture of turkey? I already did it. Oh, you did it. This is our first stop on the way to Nashville. Well, it's our only stop. So we have a Hunts, how is the American cookie dough? We just stopped for a picnic lunch. It is absolutely beautiful here. We're on an overlook. And I came to this park last summer with friends. It was really pretty. And so I was like, let's go back. And so that's what we're doing. It's 1150 and we're about to get back on the road and we're gonna head straight through to Nashville. Just made it to Tennessee. for them to uh, be positioned up there. They're not expecting to fight. They're just... That was five hours, 2,000 killed, 10,000 wounded, six... There's some sort of music going on over there. I guess that's just Nashville for you. We just finished a tour, and now we're going to the house of Dad's friend that we're staying at, and then we're gonna go out to dinner. We made it to the house we were staying at, and I was so happy to see Love Does by Bob Goff in the room I was staying. And then we headed to downtown Franklin, Tennessee for dinner. It's a really cute downtown, probably more my vibe than Nashville was. There were still musicians on the street and some history, but we went to Puckett's Grocery Restaurant for some good Southern food for dinner. They normally have music there, but we were there the one night of the week where there was no music, which was kind of a bummer, but I got a BLT and fries and it was delicious. And then we were off for the next day to explore Nashville. The ceiling looks so funky here, but maybe that's just because I'm seeing it in black and white. We are in a parking garage in downtown Nashville, and we're about to go to an art museum and to have a fun day exploring the city. Okay, dad, Hans, smile. This is the world famous hot chicken. And there's normally a line around the corner, but there's no line. Bees line now that it is not 9 a.m. 
It's very long. It is 2.47. Downtown Nashville, the Broadway area, tired us out. So we drove about 30 minutes to the suburb of Franklin, Tennessee, where we were at an ice cream shop. I'm in the bathroom, it's in the Broadway Dell. Um, and we're just gonna walk around and look at gifts. I napped in the car and that was really nice. So we'll see what happens with the afternoon. How come I've been thinking let's pretend to fall asleep now when we get old? Okay, what'd you get? Cookies and cream on a cake cone, that's what they call it. This is Sneakers and Apparel by Toby Mac. And we can stay at home and watch the sunset, but I can't help from asking, are you bored yet? We're back in the house and I'm drinking. I'm LaCroix because I don't, it's not that I feel sick. I just like I'm headachey and tired. I think it's because of all those crazy honky tonks. Um, I was very much out of my element in Nashville because I just, I'm not like a loud music drinking kind of person. I prefer like a lake vacation, but it is helping me like gain perspective. And I think that's really cool about this trip. And it's a good experience to have as part of my sabbatical. I've definitely not been on my phone, like, looking at Instagram and stuff as much, but I did just lie in bed and look at Instagram for a while. It's all in black and white, so it's not as fun, but it still was like, okay, I need some space, but I'm gonna take a shower, and then we're going to have dinner. When I see your face, it's like a hit rewind, because you're on repeat just like so good, sweet Caroline. I wanna put you on, like a 45. And I want you spin until the sun rises. With the wind, doubt close, I hear your Take heart time. beat echo. Feel the same rust all over. Yes, you fell in the lake. So I'm taking my clothes to the outhouse thing for change. And then the weather flipped a little bit, so we got some stormy weather on the way home, but it was sunny when we got home. So we ate dinner outside and then watched America's Got Talent on the couch. And then it was Wednesday. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, August 3rd, and I am getting ready to head out. Today, I'm getting my hair cut, which is very exciting. That is one of my sort of sabbatical activities. It is definitely out of the ordinary. I have not gotten my hair cut in two years, and before that, it was another two years. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna get sort of some highlights, which is also unique, and I cannot find any of my stuff. I'll talk to you later. I decided to come to the lake by my dance studio before my haircut, because I'm getting my haircut right next to the dance studio, and I just was reading for a while. I had a snack, I did some stretching, it was really nice, and brought my hammock. I'm probably gonna end this first vlog today after I get my hair cut because I want to show you the finished product. But I just wanted to give a little update on how the sabbatical is going. I think it's been so incredible. And it's been like what? Day five? Day five out of 21. And it's already been great. The thing that's really doing it, or where I realize it's really doing it, is when I journal at the end of the day. And I've been writing down not only what happened that day, but sometimes I'll write down how I'm feeling. And I've been making some discoveries just about who I am, who, and what God has in store for me that I really don't think I would be making if I wasn't detaching myself from social media and from work and things like that. So highly would recommend, I'm not gonna go into detail about the breakthroughs I've been making, but I think been so good and it's so refreshing to like be at this lake without thinking I'm about to go back and work for four more hours it's like I'm here and I'm able to just exist and it's really nice I'm gonna go get my hair cut and I will show you the finished product <laughs> I have never had such a long hair appointment. I was in there for two hours, 10 minutes. But my hair feels great. It's shorter. I love the color. I see it in black and white, but I'll give you a better look when I get in the car. Okay, 
this is the situation we have. I'm not totally sure how much I love it yet, but you know, we will find out over the next few days. Sorry, this video is definitely crooked, but if you like this video, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, comment, share it with your friends, follow us on Instagram, pop our feet up here. It's at Lifestyle is pretty simple. And I will see you in the next vlog. I'm going to Chicago on Friday, so two days. I probably won't vlog tomorrow. Maybe I will, mm, probably not. And then I will catch up with you and all the sabbatical fun. So, well, see you. Well, my dreams coming true and I'm getting to do it. Wait, wait, wait.